episode 1302 of No BS Job Search Advice Radio. This is Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter, and welcome. You know, the question someone asked me is a great one. I know when I worked in search, this was one of the classic dilemmas job hunters had, and I had as well. Is it okay to email several recruiters about the same job? That's the question I tackle today. Hope you find my answer helpful. Hope you give it a great review in Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to the show. And by the way, are you interested in my coaching you? Would it be helpful to you to have an expert guiding you in the process? Not as a recruiter who's being paid by the corporation and really has their interest at heart, but being paid by you. I hope you consider it. And if you're interested, listen to the end of the show. There's information there that will tell you how to contact me and what services I provide. And with that, let's get going. The question is, is it okay to email several recruiters about the same job? As usual, the answer is it depends. Now, number one is it depends on whether you know for sure they're all representing the same job. Now, if the language is identical, duh, it's the same job. Now, the question becomes, why would you do that? Okay, let's say you emailed the um, corporate recruiter, and then you start emailing agencies. Corporate recruiter is going to claim ownership of your candidacy. They're not going to accept the referral. There's no point in doing it unless you let a few days go by. Uh, so that it's not fresh in their mind that they've received the resume. It may not be in their applicant tracking system yet. So contacting a third-party recruiter at that point makes sense. So give it three days. You haven't heard from the recruiter, contact an agency recruiter. Next, multiple agency recruiters. Now, applying is one of those ambiguous terms. It doesn't mean you've sent your resume to well, you know, yes, it's okay to do that. Now, the question becomes, as soon as you start talking to a, one of the recruiters, you determine whether or not they're going to submit you. If they are, there's no need for the others. If they aren't, ask why. And if another recruiter contacts you, well, very simply, you haven't been submitted yet, go ahead. Talk to a second recruiter about it or a third. It doesn't mean you're going to get the interview. What it does mean is that the first person said no. The second person may have also said no. You may not fit. So what are you hitting your head against a wall for? Now, if you legitimately fit, that begs the question, what did they not see in your background or how you presented yourself that caused them to not think you fit? You've got to learn from that from from interview one to interview two. And if you still haven't gotten the message yet, you certainly have to do it by interview three. So recognize that if you're not selling yourself properly to the first person, yes, you should be talking to a second. If you're not selling yourself by the you know, interview two, you better do it by interview three, because what are you doing? So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few ways to get even more from me. First of all, visit my website, www.thebiggamehunter.us. I have several thousand blog posts there that you can watch, listen to, or read to help you find your next job. If you want the best of my advice, join JobSearchCoachingHQ.com, where I've curated my information with a focus on interviewing. If you have a few questions, contact me through the Magnify app for iOS. That's Magnify with an I at the end, or PrestoExperts.com, where you can call me. Schedule a specific time with me through chat on Magnify or by connecting with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Once we're connected on LinkedIn, you can message me about coaching you, speaking with me about a resume or LinkedIn profile critique, help with a salary negotiation, my trusted advisor services, as well as scheduling me through for Magnify or for PrestoExperts.com. Like you, I don't work for free. 
You can also take my classes on Skillshare and become a premium member using the link in the show notes and receive two months for free instead of just the one that the site offers. Skillshare offers thousands of courses, not just simply mine. It is a great resource in a variety of different areas. Subscribe to my other podcast, which is called Job Search Radio. This one is number one in Apple Podcasts. Job Search Radio is number two. Subscribe to both. You will get great information seven days a week from this show, six days a week from the other. Lastly, I want to encourage you to join my group on Facebook called Career Angles. It's free to the first 500 people who join and is focused on helping you do better at work. Information is shared daily and we're building a supportive group there to provide advice and counsel during difficult times. Again, the group on Facebook is called Career Angles. I'll be back tomorrow with more. In the meantime, have a great day. Be great. 